Um, I, I mean, I can't stress enough that how I haven't seen anything quite like this movie before. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you guys behind, obviously writing it, create, you know, creating it, producing it, etc. But I guess so much is then left in the hands of the animators. I bet even when you guys sat down to watch this, mm -hmm. you must have been blown away by what they've achieved. Oh yeah, yeah no question. I mean, we would sit in the edit bay and just shots would come in, mm -hmm. and we'd be amazed not just that they're beautiful, but but that the the performances were so affecting. And then there would always be a little stocking stuffer of a little idea that somehow had wiggled its way into the movie that we didn't even know about. Yeah, it was really it was really gratifying because you know we all had this idea from the beginning of like let's make it feel like you're walking into the moving three dimensional pages of a comic book and have you feel the artist's hand on every frame and have it feel like a painting and. Everyone was really excited to do that, but nobody really knew how or what it would end up looking like. And the end result was uh, even more fantastical than I think we imagined. And I mean, I mean, the character of Miles is terrific as well. It's got that kind of self-deprecating wit that the, the character mm -hmm. needs. But also, I mean, again, following off from kind of Black Panther from Wonder Woman, it's showing that diversity is no longer a risk anymore, is it? In, in mm -hmm. big blockbusters like this, it's, it's a necessity, isn't it, for people to see themselves reflected back to them on screen? Sure, and it's and it's long overdue, and it really shouldn't be remarkable, right? Mm -hmm. Which this should just hopefully, you know, not long from now, this will just be you know completely normal yeah. Uh, but yeah it really goes back to what Stan Lee and Steve Ditko created back in the 60s with making Peter Parker just a regular like nerdy kid from a lower middle class uh, family in Queens and not uh, you know an alien god or a billionaire it was like this is something that's that it could be you and it was really welcoming and inclusive uh, for for kids and maybe it's like, oh, I could be a hero. It doesn't have to be some elite special person. It could be me. And that's sort of the message of this movie. And what's what's cool about Miles and, and all the other characters in this is that anyone could look at it and say, oh, it could be me. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, you mentioned Stan and Steve. I mean, obviously, they were both with us when the production began. And mm -hmm. they've, they've sat, obviously, no longer with us. But I mean, what sort of legacy have they left behind? And what sort of impact have they both had on, on storytellers such as yourselves? Well, we remember Stan Lee's writing from when we were 10 years old, reading the comics and also, you know, his letters he would write to fans that he would have in every issue of every book. And they were always funny and inclusive. And, uh, and the, they were letting us all in on a kind of collective um, storytelling experience. And so, so we wanted the movie to just reflect that. And, and I think that Inf that's been a big influence on our writing, don't you think? Mm -hmm, absolutely. That you can be funny and emotional and epic and tell important stories that are inspirational and positive. And we, you know, we we were always want to make sure that we're sort of inspiring an audience and not making them super feel bleak. Yeah. We, we also use a lot of exclamation marks, and that's <laughs> got to go back to Stan. Because yeah, one thing you you two do so incredibly well is this ability to inject comedy into a, into a movie and yet never compromise on the stakes. I mean, that's mm -hmm. a tough thing to get right, but something you guys have sort of mastered. What's the secret to that? To that? Well, we try to, we, sometimes we have to undercut the stakes and then buy them back immediately. <laughs> mm -hmm. For yeah. the joke, yeah. Because yeah. that's sort of been the, 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 the exactly the guiding principle on that thing is that the stakes are real, the emotions are real, and uh, and you can never lose sight of that if you want to keep people along for this journey for for a whole feature length uh, film. You can't, uh, you can't invalidate that. So at the end of the day, if we love a joke so much and it, and it undercuts the stakes, we have to reestablish the stakes <laughs> immediately right after. <laughs> well, like that, you know, yes. when Miles gets bit in the movie and... It's very, um, it's like a yeah. It's very dramatic, and there's all this like we watch the 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 spider venom go all the way into his bloodstream, and then you cut back out, and he just kind of goes, yeah, and just picks it away. And it's <laughs> and that was like, and then immediately we drop the camera down, and you see a spooky spider that's glowing in the dark. So you're immediately reestablishing the yeah. stakes. And the truth is, is we thought, what is like? How would you really behave? Right? You wouldn't yeah. know. You would just think you got bit by a spider. It yeah. wouldn't. You wouldn't know already all the stuff that's about to happen. 
And just very quickly before I go, of course, there's a role in here as well for Nicolas Cage. It felt like the role he was born to, I was going to say played, born to read. But, but I mean, you might, you might have, was he always the first person that came to mind? You must have been thrilled when he signed up to, to play Spider-Man Noir. There was... was by far yeah. the first choice. Yes, we uh, had a meeting with the directors about who would play this character, and I don't remember who suggested him, but once his name came up, there was no... There's no discussion. No further discussion. Like, go get him. Yeah. And you did. And we did. He <laughs> was goodness. a real delight. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your awesome. time today. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!